Hey guys, what's going on? We're going to do a uh, tutorial on how to screen capture using Move AVI Video Suite, or however they say it. Um, here in a second we'll get into the live recording of when I made this screen capture video, but in the past I would take a video camera and hold it up to my screen there, kind of as steady as I could, move it around and zoom in and zoom out, and we're using this program instead to actual, actually create a live video of what's going on, so let's get started. All right, the first thing we're going to show you is how to do what we're doing right now, which is a screen capture. I'm going to click on this, and it's going to probably pop up and say I already have one going on. Screen capture is currently being executed. We know that because I just told you. So I'm going to go down here to my rocket dock there and open it up. And basically, when you click on capture screen like I just did, this will pop up. And it will give you some options of what you can do or what you want to do and um, it gives you uh, right here where it says duration it'll give you uh, it'll say uh, screen size and right now mine's set to full but you can change it to where it's a smaller screen size or if I wanted to say to just record something in this one little box here where this video suite was I can actually make it that custom size and it won't record anything outside of that box you can also do some effects and um, which is highlight clicks and cursor which is what we did um, record audio of course which it's recording through my webcam audio uh, right now and uh, well I think that uh, I think that's pretty much it for how that works but there's also uh, right here screencast you can also uh, say uh, capture gaming and um, there's something else um, that you can do as well we'll get to that um, maybe a different time but um, that's how we're doing what we're doing right now. Started a new screen recording of the first part of the video that you just watched, and we're going to show you now how to edit a screen capture. So what I've already done is what you've already seen. Um, this recording audio here I recorded later and right up into the point where I started actually working on the program itself um, was just kind of new audio overlay and then right there where it kicked in is where it started and the way I did the recording the audio and we'll go back and I'll let you listen to it real quick one more time uh, let me be quiet here and let it play through my speakers let's get started First thing we're going to show you is how to do. Okay, so you saw I happened right there. The first part of the video up until I said, let's get started, uh, was just me recording over uh, the first part of the video. I said some other things. There were some weird, like, timing issues. I didn't want to wait five seconds to say the next thing, kind of get it all get it all out in, uh, in one take there. And the way I did that was I took the video and I got it to the point I wanted it to get it to, and I right clicked. And I didn't, actually, I didn't even have to do that. Uh, you can right click and say split, but you can also come right here to where it says split track into two parts. And you do that, and then you're going to notice this volume button over here. Don't mess with that one. That one's going to adjust everything uh, on this timeline uh, number three. On this timeline number three here, don't worry about that. Right click on the track you want to delete the audio from. Go down to volume and you'll know it says clip property volume. Bring that volume down to zero and that allows us to be muted here and it, and it allows this right click volume this volume to be at 100 percent so that allows you to do what I did which was record the audio on top of it and then when it comes back to this part everything else was the audio from the actual live recording uh, I went into my transitions and my fades or whatever here and I added a fade in at the beginning. I just clicked on it and dragged it in. I added a uh, title which was just the simple text. I dragged that in. You saw that okay, happen. What's going on? We're going to do a... nope. Okay, that's loud. Alright, so uh, you go into properties and you can add the animation which was the gravity that I had on it, the speed it was, you click to change the duration of it, 
um, and because I had a transition in the beginning, uh, the fade in, it actually started out as five second duration. I added it to eight to, to kind of give it a little about a second and a half or so for the uh, transition in and the transition uh, out. And you'd kind of double click right here. And that allows you to edit the text, and that's where, where I wrote all that at. So, so we're done here. We did that. I dragged the uh, next fade for the fade in and out. So we faded, did like that, and now we're back to here, or out and in, whatever it was I did. Anyway, so that's on there, and and that's on there. So there's a couple other things you wanna you wanna know about the video, and of course you're gonna see this in the final version, but. If this was the final cut and I stopped where I stopped, it would have been fine. But we can add some more things here. This clip that you're seeing right now, I'm going to add it in down here at the bottom. It's going to be off here. Of course, it's going to be edited as well. Um, there was a long pause just a second ago that I'm going to cut out, plus a bunch of the noise that the kids are making is going to have to be cut out. So uh, you'll see these differences here as I continue to look for the zooming option that I wanted. Something you can do here is uh, use your rotate button and whatever selected clip or the whole entire piece on that timeline, uh, if you highlight them all, you can flip them, rotate them, turn them upside down, whatever you want to do there. Uh, it's pretty neat. You can also come in and crop so that you only see part of the screen here. It looks like... Yeah, it looks like it's going to make us do it in uh, keep ratios, which is fine. To do that, it's no big deal. Alright, so let's keep that cropped. Format. Oh, I hit uh, double click for full screen. Alright, so now that's cropped. And so now we're going to see a better picture of, of what was happening before. Um, so if you went back and you played back the same audio, it would now look like this. Alright, first thing we're going to show you is how to do what we're doing right now, which is screen capture. I'm going to click on this, and it's going to probably pop up and say I already have one going on. Screen capture is currently being executed. We know that because I just told you. So, Alright, and that's what that does. That's going to allow you to where I showed you, you could make the full screen show everything on your computer well if you wanted to have it full screen and then cut in later on you could simply select the the areas of the track that you wanted it to cut in on and let's scroll over here and let's go right here and stop it right here and then we're going to split that track there and then make this the track that has the crop on it and come over here and take the crop back off on this one and of course we could have just split it first and then added the crop and not had to delete it from the the second clip but now we have just this little clip alright the first thing we're going to show you is how to do what we're doing right now which is screen capture I'm going to click on this and it's going to probably pop up and say I already have one going on we kind of zoomed in just for a second and uh, and then took it back out. Very cool, very easy to do. Um, and other than that, I think that's about it. So what we're going to have to do here is I'm going to have to uh, stop this screen capture, add it on, edit it, and then show you once again uh, the next step to it. Okay. The 9 minutes and 20 second duration of my video, which probably is about where we are right now in the video, but currently that's the end. So like I said, I'm going to um, make another clip and add it on. And uh, the last couple of things I want to do here, um, first of all, we're going to go ahead and show you the export process. Um, this is where we're going to be able to use the zoom, or not the zoom, sorry, the speed up uh, file name is 
call it export practice. You say export practice here, and then I'm going to save this project, and I'm going to click on the speed up button here after I import the video uh, clip. So I'm just going to be quiet and let it do this, and then I'll speed it up later. Okay, here we are. Um, back to where I just said pause it and I'll speed it up later. I have added that clip and I have got it queued up and um, I'm going to go in and split the screen right there where it starts and then I'm going to go to the end. We're going to keep an eye on uh, where the progress bar is and I think it ended up being just about seven minutes there. Keep going a little further, a little further. Ooh, all right. Let's see where we're at right now. Uh, not quite. There we go. So we're gonna pause it there, and then we're gonna split it. Now we have this giant thing split here. We're going to click on right click on that particular clip. And we're going to say speed. Clip property speed 100%. Speed this bad boy up to 1000 and say apply. Let's go back here. Oh, let's click on this. Find this preview it real quick. Okay, now what I've done is I've uh, we're going back and we're watching kind of the live sped up version of this, and I'm doing the record audio over after I uh, deleted the uh, squirrel sounds of my voice or the kids talking in the background of this sped up version of the video. Just meow, 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 meow. anyway, I deleted that uh, audio like I showed you earlier, right clicking it, and then I'm adding in this little audio overlay to kill the time while we watch that bar fill up in real time and then it's going to cut back to normal speed and finish out the video. Okay, that's done. It was a little over seven minutes for me. In folder, watch this. Video, 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 video. Export practice. 9 minute and 20 second video. Delete. Why? Because that's not the end because we still have to add this clip on. And before we add this clip on, I'm going to add something else to it. And that is uh, some options you have and uh, that I forgot to tell you about. There's timeline mode is what you've been seeing me do things in. Um, there's also another mode that you can use called story mode and like if you, the, several of these options if you're familiar with the basics of like uh, Windows Movie Maker you find some of the same stuff it's uh, very similar the way it works and uh, you click right there and it goes to a story mode and like right here we have an empty clip um, I can delete that and it'll scoot it over whereas in timeline mode there would be a huge gap say from here to however far out that empty clip was there it is and that was when I first finished the first piece and then started on this next piece where you saw me start cutting in new screenshots and editing them and adding them and editing them and adding them. And so I kind of left that there so it wasn't as confusing on the final product. But between that timeline and uh, that speed up process, that's going to be it. So I'm going to add this clip back on and add some more uh, effects to it, such as a uh, fade out maybe a thank you title and uh, and that's gonna be it for this tutorial thanks guys for watching uh, please subscribe let me know uh, if there's anything in particular you'd like to see me try to do or work on or show you how to do and if I don't know how I'll definitely try to figure it out and get back to you thanks very much